Hey, Internet friends, this is Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe, the Synergy Collaborative, and MagicBrad.tv, and I've got my friend William McLeod on. Are you there? I'm here. Hey, Brad, Cloud how are you? Cloud Media. And you know, Cloud Media is not cloudy. It's very clear. <laughs> it is clear. Our, 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 our motto is uh, clear skies with a strong chance of awesome, and it's a good day for that. Is that what it is? Outside. <laughs> That's cool. I like that. A strong chance of awesome. <laughs> <laughs> So we've been chatting a little bit about this whole video thing because I'm a big advocate of, of video because this is the closest thing to actually being there in person, be able to talk with each other, look eye to eye, and you see me? Uh, you can tell I'm a real person, you know? So you had sent me that thing. For those of you that don't know, William is also a drummer, and he's gigging tonight up. Where's your gig? Uh, our gig, gig is in Albertville at, a, at a, a bar and restaurant called Neighbors in Albertville. So if you're in the area, come see us. We rock. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you're a, you're the drummer, right? I am the drummer. Yep, so I've here's the drums since I was 15 years old. Here's I'm the not 15 anymore. <laughs> <laughs> 17 maybe. Yeah, something like. Oh, that. I got some drummer right here. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> so, Even breath sound effects, Brad. That's amazing. <laughs> mobile, mobile sound effects. I'm a mobilepreneur. Here's my my studio right here, my phone. <laughs> so you sent me that that video on drumsticks. Now, if anybody's ever seen a drumstick, you would not believe what goes into making a drumstick. I mean, not a chicken drumstick, but a drummer drumstick. <laughs> Right. It's very detailed down to like the uh, like the, the tone that's in the actual stick, you know, how right. they actually sound and everything. And the, the wood, they make sure it's all white wood and not any dark wood. It's kind of like a turkey, you know, dark meat versus white meat. It's pretty fascinating. And the reason I bring this up is because I think it's really important for a business these days to separate themselves from all the other businesses. Say like a real estate agent, a house is a house is a house. An agent is an agent is an agent. But what makes you different than all the other agents? So if someone did like a lifestyle video of what an agent actually goes through and, and how much work they put into it, you know, from the beginning of uh, getting the kids ready to school because you got an open house that you got to get to or meet with a client at a coffee meeting. And they knew all the work that, an, that a real estate agent put into selling your house or getting your house uh, purchased or whatever or buying your next home. If people knew how much work went into it, I think they'd be more apt to use that specific agent. So that's just my. Of course they would, right? I mean, it's it's a as you said, every business requires that that level of differentiation, right? We all, we all, everybody who's got the same job description fits into this category, but you have to find a way to kind of step outside of that category and uh, you know showing people who you are, what you do, and kind of highlighting those key pieces of, of your business and the struggles you go through on a daily basis, the routine, the process, the, the challenges, and, and most importantly, the why behind it. You know, why are you in this and why do you care more about uh, your customers, uh, be it a real estate agent or a drumstick maker or whatever it might be? Why, why are you different and, and unique? And uh, the only way to do that is to find a way to communicate it because people aren't going to just know. Well, let me um, take it into your expertise of video. And we had talked a little bit about this earlier that you can, there's software these days, where you just drag a bunch of pictures and video into it and poof, it makes a production video of you. That's fine and good and it's fast and everything, but it doesn't have the human factor in it. Like for what you do as far as putting together a video for someone, you, you got to put the, the emotion into it and it's got to be real and genuine. You know what I mean? That's and it's our job, right? We, we're creatives. Uh, there's a lot of different creative people out there in the world that fit into the you know the different uh, uh, pieces of kind of media production, if you will. Uh, you know, and, and what separates you, you, your typical uh, person who's out there who wants to do everything themselves from the value they can get from working for somebody who does it every single day of their life. And it's you know my job really. Uh, uh, in, in my role of kind of managing my business and getting out and talking to clients, my job is I'm a translator. Right. I'm basically taking ideas that people have and I'm putting it into best practice in video. Um, and sure, there's lots of software out there. And, you know, there's some people out there that feel like they can do everything themselves. And, 
you know, some people can, but most of us are not that talented and most of us need to rely on professionals in their given area uh, in order to be the most successful that we possibly can be. Well, I'm not an accountant, Brad. I couldn't do my own accounts, right? right. It's the same thing. You, you should, if you, if you really don't know how to do video, you shouldn't be out there trying to do it on your own. You should be looking for a professional like, uh, like us or like many of the other professionals that are out here in this market. Well, that's kind of what I'm getting at is like, like one of the things I would like to do, and I think we talked about this too, is have an actual studio where people can come in and see you do what you do. You know, yep. they got to be quiet because we're, you know, quiet on the set or because we're actually taping a client or not taping because that's obsolete, but recording digitally <laughs> where they can sit in the studio audience and see what it is that you go through because, you know, there's, there's videographers everywhere, but there's only one William and there's only one Brad, right? So, right. And that's where I, I talk about getting that no like, trust, and respect factor in there so that they know that they're going to be in good hands, you're going to take care of them, and your agenda is not just to make a fancy video, but to make your video sell something at the end because that's what business is about. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's, you know, I, I like to say that uh, a cup of coffee can be $1 or $5. And if a $1 cup of coffee tastes like crap, nobody's going to drink it. <laughs> Right. It's, still, it's not so much about how much you're paying for it. It's about making sure that you're putting the money in the right place to get a good cup of coffee. The, the, or reason, no, or. the reason I laugh is because in Santa Monica, there's a $75 cup of coffee that is made from beans that actually are crap. <laughs> it's, it's true. It's, it, it's coffee beans that have gone through the digestive system of some animal. <laughs> Wow. And they sell it at 75 bucks a cup. So it's all perceived value. However, perceived. We, we don't produce stuff that's crap, right? We do not. <laughs> nothing good nothing that, I, that I will ever give one of my clients will go through my digestive system. <laughs> exactly, <first>. exactly. <laughs> so th that's another element of this, what I'm talking about, this live studio kind of concept, is clients can be in there and having their project worked on, and prospects can come in and actually see it happen. And you get to actually meet us live in person and have some fun like this, you know, because that's what life's all about too. You don't want to just be all business, business, business. Let's have a, let's have a good time doing it, right? Right. Yeah. To be able to, you know, have a conversation, kick the ball back and forth and have some laughs and yep, that's what it's all about. Well, uh, William, I don't like doing these too long and especially seeing it's Friday, there's probably people want to wrap it up and maybe go and hit the golf course or something like that. So I'm going to close this off, but I appreciate you taking the time. Is there any last words of wisdom you want to add to it before we put this in the can? Well, it, you know, just the fact that we are, we are talking about kind of doing some, something live and in studio and, and that's coming soon and it's going to be exciting. And, you know, anybody who's out there kind of watching this thing today, if that sounds like something that's interesting to you, uh, whether you're coming in and sitting with us, you know, uh, in a one-on-one -on -one kind of session with, with, with Brad asking some great questions and us having, having some fun together or, whether it's us coming, you know, to your location and doing a, you know, uh, like the drumstick thing or the Mr. Rogers, you know, uh, behind the scenes, how does the post office work or how does your business work? I mean, it's, it's, it's great material and uh, everybody needs it. Video is the new website. 25 years ago, nobody thought they needed a website. Now everybody, you know, now everybody's starting to get the idea they need a video, but not everybody's made the transition yet. It's time to start thinking about how to get video into every single business out there. I like that. Video is the new website because it really is. You know, if you can do a, a sales video or introductory video or anything like that, to be known, liked, trusted, and respected. So with that, I'm going to sign this off. Thank you very much. And the crowd goes wild. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, William. I'm going to beam this up and propagate it out, and we'll uh, see what kind of uh, interest we can get from people that might be wanting to use video for their business. Thanks, Brad. Thanks. Peace.